Welcome to CNS Focus interview series. This episode features a special guest who has not only made lifetime contribution on medical oncology, but also demonstrates leadership in cancer prevention, palliative care, and advancing tobacco control. Professor Dr. Bishnu Datta Podal, Professor of Medical Oncology at the National Academy of Medical Sciences, Beer Hospital in Nepal, is also the Program Director of Medical Oncology at National Academy of Medical Sciences and member of Tobacco Tax Fund in Nepal. He was conferred upon the first Palliative Care Award for South Asia region five years back. He was in conversation with CNS on the sidelines of first ever South Asia Tobacco Control Leadership Program of John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health organized with the International Union Against TB and Lung Disease or the Union, Action Nepal and Ministry of Health of Government of Nepal. Without any further ado, let's listen to Professor Dr. Bishnu Datta Pada. As the life expectancy of Nepal along with other developing countries is increasing, so when the life expectancy increases, the diseases like cancer, heart disease also get increases. That's a natural because the cancer is a disease of generally older people. That is one factor which is we call non-modifiable factor that is beyond our control. But there are other modifiable factors also like uh, tobacco consumption, alcohol consumption and change in lifestyle activities. Now people are becoming more sedentary, less physical activities going into the more in the vehicle, walking less. So this activities, feel restricted physical activities also increasing the cancer. And other is our dietary habits. Now we are using more refined food, teen food, and less fruits and less vegetables, and more chemical adulterated food. So these and junk food, and these are the reasons that the cancer is increasing. So, due to these multiple factors, is rising age, which is unmodifiable factors, but some modifiable factors like uh, what we drink, what we eat, how we move with our physical activities, these are the factors. Cancer is increasing. Tobacco in itself, uh, tobacco is a major cause for the cancer. If, suppose, we ban tobacco from the wall, then one third of the cancer will disappear. So, so that, that's the only one factor. If you pain is the one factor, so around 33% cancer will disappear from the world. And when you talk about the lung cancer, it goes to the 70, 80% is the main cause of the uh, tobacco is the main cause. Likewise, oral cavity cancers and other cancers. So there are multiple cancers where the tobacco is involved. Yeah, so what we are doing is, uh, uh, we are from the multi-sectorally, try to control the tobacco, like uh, we, with the different people, organizations, NGOs, NGOs, we are introducing anti-tobacco law also. That is also helping to con uh, control the tobacco. And on other side, like uh, we are, you must have already heard that, we are in increasing the amount of pictures in the tobacco pack, from 30, 50, 80 now it's 90 percent we have gone and you have heard that we got the Bloomberg award also one crore 100,000 US dollar also so we are passing the tobacco laws also we are pictorial covering also we are health education program also different media is also going school also going we are contact societies also we are going and arm of the tobacco we are telling and side by side we are counseling the patients also because what happens when a patient comes with the cancer to me and I say you should not smoke and when I say his wife or his son that you should never smoke, smoke otherwise you, you will also have the same fate that is a very powerful at that time they will listen very full so we are helping to quit helping to suggestion so in a multifactorial we are trying to help the control the tobacco program. Still, the, our activities, especially the enforcement of the law, is not very effective, actually. Still, people are selling tobacco, 
near the school, near the hospital, children are buying, pregnant women are buying, and still anti law activities are still going on. So it should be hundred percent implemented. Anybody who if you if you find if you smoke in the school area or the hospital area like hundred meter areas uh, near around the school or hospital or public places if we find we have to catch each and every and punish if you strictly uh, um, use these uh, rules then tobacco will go down definitely professor Podel, you have been so involved with medical oncology what inspired or motivated you to step out of cancer hospitals and push for effective tobacco control? Actually, what happened, the most of the patients, when they come to us, as a doctor, we have to take the history checking. So in the history checking, one important part is to ask is the personal history. So the most of the cancer patients, what I found, uh, they are using tobacco. So that prompted, so, and there is a literature and the data also already proved that tobacco is related to the cancer. And practically also what I'm saying is, most of the, my patients are tobacco, taking tobacco. So I thought if I get involved in the tobacco control activities and I, if I can minimize or eradicate the tobacco, then maybe the suffering of the people from cancer can be minimized. Right. The union and the Mr. Tara and Mr. Chan, they are very active. In fact, they took it's to their mission yeah, to happen whatever here, whether to pass the Tobacco Act law or 90% pictorial covers, they have a great role because they were always, they were going to the media, they, they were run after the politicians, they were run after the um, peoples, so they work very hard to because uh, without the dedication um, people from an organization like that, it would have been never possible. Yes, I expect, uh, let's hope you, me and all should work together hard that there will be one day that this world will be without tobacco. Let's work hand by hand together to make this world tobacco free. We were listening to Professor Dr. Bishnu Datta Padel, Professor of Medical Oncology at the National Academy of Medical Sciences, Beer Hospital, Nepal. He's also the program director of medical oncology at National Academy of Medical Sciences and member of Tobacco Tax Fund in Nepal. For more information, be welcome to visit us at www.citizen-news.org. Thanks for listening and stay tuned. <laughs>